Friday, the British organization settled down for several days in the main town Leeuwarden in the Netherlands. The choice Leeuwarden was not so surprising because it is the birthplace of the world-famous left-handed artist Maurice Escher. One of Escher's dearest friends was Hans de Rijk. The story of how they met each other is as well surprisingly as simple. I met Escher through his works and his neighbor. In the university where I was studying to become a teacher, there was a poster of Escher called Up and Down. I was always very interested and surprised. I always ask myself the question, how is such possible? Johan Vredeman de Vries was a 17th century architect from Leeuwarden. He plays in his published drawings with perspectives. Tresor in Leeuwarden still has original works of this artist. Uh, this is the book Perspective, which was uh, printed in 1604. It was not the last uh, book of Freedom on the Freeze. It was printed in four languages and it, uh, it had 21 editions. It was quite a success, you can say, and that is of course the success of Freedom on the Freeze himself because he is partially became so famous because his drawings were all printed. And here we see a portrait of Johann Freedom on the Freeze. Yeah native here in Leeuwarden. Another Leeuwarden artist, uh, Moritz Escher, uh, they probably look at the drawings of Freedom and the Fries, as you can see here, by perspective seen from a building from above. And also a here of uh, Escher. Once, during a conversation with the neighbor of Escher, we discussed Escher's work. I didn't know it at the time, but the neighbor told me that Escher was living across the street and was a good friend, and that they daily spoke. I asked him if it was possible to meet Escher. Oh yes, he said, just go over there and ring the doorbell. Oh no, I said, I don't dare, I have to make some preparations first. But anyway, this was the start of a long, during relation with Escher. First, I wrote a letter to Escher with only questions about the poster up and down. And Escher replied with explaining that to write down how he worked was nearly impossible. I personally think he thought it was too much work. But I was always welcome at his home, so he could answer all my questions. And this happened a month later after the first letter contact, and I had the afternoon of my life. To be part of a world full of fantasy, impossible drawings, a world I adored. This was really overwhelming for me. Later on, we proceeded in writing and personal contacts. In the beginning, the contact was in a formal way, but during the time, we became more and more good friends. I started to call him by his nickname, Mauk. Is Escher, in your opinion, a scientist or an artist? If you ask this about stuff you can learn at school, I think Mauk was no scientist, but a remarkable artist evaluating ideas. If you ask me about what happened in his head, he sure had the brains of a scientist. But also a great artist, maybe both. Johan Freedom on the Fries. He became famous because of his drawings of perspective. Here we can see one of those first drawings he made from a figure, which is now almost modern. And here we can see the ways he uh, saw the grid of his perspective drawings, one horizon over here with three points made on the horizon on which the lines were drawn to. This is the grid he used, his perspective grid. 
was an artist or a scientist or an architect. Yeah. Those are all, all things he was uh, uh, busy with, but we really can't put him in one of those uh, uh, caskets. Well, uh, it's, it's in that way, is it, it's hard to, uh, to, to know what kind of, uh, of an artist he really was. Yeah.